Hey guys, it's your girl Pixie and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Pixie's World. If you guys are not new, welcome back. Today's video is going to be entitled Continual Bad Luck is Not an Accident. Um, but before we get into the video, guys, please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe, and please be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. <laughs> guys y'all know when i get my nails done before i do my nails before i start my video i always gotta show y'all my nails painted by pixie underscore dot zero o if you're in the philadelphia area please book an appointment or just like and share my page and give me some love guys i am trying to like thrive on my side hustles so give your girl a love a share a shout out um, guys, um, I've been rocking the short girls lately and I'm loving it. Um, but yeah, guys, so let's get into the video. Basically, like I said, it is entitled, um, continual bad luck is, um, not an accident. Um, if you feel like in your life or somebody else's life, it's always something that like, you're always, it's something always going wrong. It's like always something going wrong. Then you need to start over, detox, remove something or add something. Uneasiness, continual failure, bad luck is a big indicator that something is jumbled, missing the mark, or you need to be doing something differently. You know, you ever you ever get to a point where you like low on your finances or you can't sleep at night all of a sudden. Something is, maybe you need to detox or maybe you need to work more or maybe you not you spending too much of your money whatever um fix it guys and fix it quick because complaining about it is really not gonna do anything you just need to fit basically get down to the bottom of what the problem is pay attention to your patterns pay attention to what you did this week or last week or what you've been doing lately that may be off about like making this moment a little bit more rougher than usual moments um if someone you know keeps having bad luck remove yourselves their bad luck becomes your bad luck and their problems become your your problems for example say you got a friend that's always broke right every time you hang out you're going to have to pay for their stuff or when you with them like say you like damn if i if i if i order this cheesesteak platter i'm gonna have to order them one i ain't gonna i ain't gonna want to eat in front of them or something like that. Like you're gonna always be like either spending your money on them or it's just like every time you with them, something bad going on. And it's like you hanging out with them. So it's now it's not your drama, but it becomes your drama because you with them. Pay attention to people that's, that's like always um in something. I I I have, you know, people that I know that um they, they, it just seemed like they always going through something. So like I minimize the time that I hang out with them because, um, I, it's just, it's literally, it's just literally always something. Um, what, pay attention to what's going on around you guys. Who are y'all spending your time with? How are you spending your time? Are you lying, cheating, stealing, scamming, internet drama, beef? Like that is karma. Like you read what you sow, what you put out is what you get back. No, you might not be... You not you might not be stealing or you might not be causing no drama, but if you scamming or if you always talking bad or you always negative or whatever, like it's it's, it's energy, it's energy, and it's it's, it's it, it whether or not it's something physically that you're doing wrong or it's mentally something that you're doing wrong, you are attracting that energy. So it's their bad luck, like you know what I mean. What you put out is what you get back, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, like I said, you may not be the problem, but the energy, what you attracting, um, reevaluate your circle, guys. It is okay to start over. God gives us a new chance every single day. Um, I know a lot of people don't don't like to start over, but me, I love it. Like, I don't know. It's just something refreshing about a new start. Like, you know, some people they don't want to start over with new people or they don't want to meet new people. And it's like, I don't. But then again, I don't mind. Like, why not? Like, you know, I know some people don't like it's hard to adjust. But like, we didn't had to start over a lot of times. New high school, new college, new friends. It's, 
Don't be afraid to start over, guys. It's, it's, it's all right. Um, clean, journal, pray, sit in silence, write your goals, um, take a break or a detox from whatever, internet, TV, whatever, for three days, five days, seven days, 14. Like I said, start over, detox, fast. Um, every so often, you need a reset, a decluttering, um, media detox, do a fast, cleanse, um, meditate, um, a break from the normal stuff, refocus and recenter your, your, um, attention on something else. Guys, I don't, I'm not right now feeling like I'm having bad luck per se, but I just feel like you want something different. So it's time for you. Like, for instance, I don't feel like I'm meeting bad people. But I feel like I'm meeting people that ain't necessarily... I, I definitely feel like the people have got it better. But it's like time for you to maybe detox and do something new for 30 days. So now you, your interests, the, the things you used to do is no longer like your hobby. Now you're... you're like Because I'm trying to do my art, guys. Like I'm Now I'm trying to draw. I'm actually really good at it. And I haven't been doing it like that. And now I'm like just trying to detox from social media. I deactivated my Instagram and um, I only kept my business pages up there and I just been downloading like positive and like drawing and stuff because, you know, I do fashion, I sew or whatever, but I don't do the whole fashion design area. I just know how to sew. Like, I don't really know how to sketch, draw, like, um, clothes. And not that I don't, because I, like I just said, I know how to draw, but I just never, I never did the sketching part of the fashion design. And it's like, if that's your feel. You don't want to just be the person who know how to make clothes. You want to be able to sketch them. You want to be able to design them. You know, you you want to be able to drape them. You want to be able to, you don't want to just have the one skill. Um, Because if, if you're, if just use a fashion design for as, example, everything you don't know how to do, you have to pay somebody to do if you're going to run your own business. Like say you know how to draw, but you don't know how to sew. You're going to have to pay for somebody to sew. Say you know how to sew, but you don't have, know how to draw. You're going to have to pay for somebody to come up with, the, with them concepts marketing you know you you're gonna need somebody a financial advice i mean of course once your business get big you're not going to be able to do it alone but you don't want to be somebody who just don't um only know how to do one thing and then even if it's not your field let's say you a fashion designer you know how to draw you can go design somebody tattoo say you are a fashion designer and you you make your own business and you learn how to do media or whatever like me doing youtube and i know how to do edits somebody else can pay you to edit like you can have your own business and still get paid as a freelancer to do something that somebody else doesn't know how to do. You know what I mean? So it's just good to build your skills. But I feel like, you know, I get up, I'll exercise and stuff like that. But I feel like other than exercising, go, you know, me working at the club and then like me doing working on my YouTubes. I'm not saying I'm not productive, but it's like I'm not as productive as I could be. Instead of me just sitting binge watching TV for like two hours, just using that as an example. Maybe I could be drawing for two hours or at least an hour of that time or whatever. Um, that's that that wasn't really what I was basically trying to say. I was just basically I'm basically talking about just pay attention to bad luck. Like having bad luck is not an accident. Nobody keeps just like all right. I found money three times in a month, and it was like all added up to like three four hundred dollar debt. Wasn't an accident, and I found three money money three times. I never found money three times before. But that week before that, I was giving people money on a bus. I was doing this. I was giving out dollars. I supported somebody. He gave me, I'm like, look, I don't want to buy you know, the outfits, but here go $10. Like, that didn't happen by accident. So if you guys um feel as though your life is just in shambles right now, and this is like one thing after another, this is that another, or is it somebody you always with? It's not an accident that they just keep having bad luck or you just keep having bad luck. Even if you're not physically like, doing anything wrong but you just have negative energy it's not an accident that you keep working up at the wrong side of the bed when every day you go to sleep like uh i don't want to get up today or to the next day you you, you don't want to get up that day or you just don't feel like it or you hate your job or you hate your dish you hate that mentality goes a long way guys so if you feel like you're just having just keep just bumping into problems Maybe you need to evaluate what you're doing, what you're thinking, and how you're just going about life, or just more so who you hanging around. Because sometimes, like I said, it won't even be you. It's just like somebody robbed the bank, but you the getaway driver. Like, no, you didn't rob the bank, but you ride around with this person that's robbing the bank. 
Or no, you didn't kill these motherfuckers, but you riding around with a killer. Like, or you don't steal, but you let your friend give you stolen goods. Like, you accept them. Like, you, it don't always have to be you, and it don't always have to be active. It can be thoughts. It can be energy. It can be mental. It can, you know what I mean? So, um, guys, um, I ain't even gonna make this video long and drawn out. I think y'all get the point. I think y'all get what I'm trying to say. Um, guys, y'all already know what I'm gonna say. Please pray to God. Please protect y'all peace. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Child, I am about to turn into a damn outfit, okay? I'm be dazzling and just making outfits. Guys, follow me on my Instagram. The cash flow quadrant support like